what is up guys I'm here today this is Dev Jim to uh, show you how to use AWS Poly to convert your audiobook into or to convert your book into an audiobook that sounds really good at really like at a really low cost compared to hiring a voice actor or a narrator so I'm just gonna delve right into how what the core of what this is and what it looks like so from let me just go back real quickly so this requires that you have an AWS account. Um, and what you want to do is go to Amazon Poly. And it's really easy to create an AWS account. Um, just Google create AWS account and you'll get to the, uh, the, the page to do that. So go to Amazon Poly once you're in. Let me go back actually one more time. Under, uh, I have it as a recently visited guess I, I do a, a bit of things with it but you'll find it under machine learning Amazon Polly turn text into lifelike speech so now we'll go into it for real and let's just go ahead and listen to the default uh, thing that you have here the, the text that Amazon has here hi my name is Joanna I will read any text you type here so you can kind of hear how that sounds a little bit robotic um, with that, you have the option to download an MP3 right away. Um, if you do that, it'll just download it, and now you can play it. Hi, it you need my name it. is Joanna. I will read any text you type here. But again, like that seems kind of robotic. So there are a lot of different uh, language options here, by the way. But there are fewer options for the neural, which sounds a lot more realistic. So let's go ahead and listen to that. Hi, my name is Joanna. I will read any text you type here. Now that's pretty, pretty good quality. So what, when I bring this up in terms of uh, like audiobooks, um, you know, you could get away with having somebody do that, particularly a nonfiction book too, or maybe. Uh, you know, maybe a book uh, where you had dialogue, you maybe wouldn't want to use it, or maybe you would. I don't know exactly how they do that um, with different voice actors. I know when there are quotes and like some of the historical uh, nonfiction books that I read, it's maybe the author just kind of using a different voice when they're doing quotes. Um, so that's really sweet. Uh, there are a lot of different voices here. Um, we can just play through some of these. Hi, my name is Joey. I will read any text you type here. I believe Justin is the one that sounds like a, like a child reading. Hi, my name is Justin. I will read any text you type here. And you just listen to some of the other female voices. Hi, my name is Kimberly. I will read any text you type here. Hi, my name is Kendra. I will read any text you type here. Uh, but for the for the uh, neural option, there, there's a little bit fewer options at this point, right? So there's English, British, English, U.S. Um, oh yeah, they've got Portuguese now. I don't think they ha had that Brazilian, Portuguese, Spanish, U.S. But the uh, you can just take a look. I, I've used this one for the male British voice it's your classic I don't know if you want to there's a there's a sense that it sounds more intellectual hi my name is Brian I will read any text you type here so that was particularly useful because I actually had a project where I took the whole Bible and uh, I used the American Standard Version so I guess ironic that I used the British accent but I took the whole Bible and ran it through this tool right here and popped it uh and popped it into downloading those those uh making the whole thing chapter by chapter so there were about a thousand files it was pretty wild so um i want to go over so that's how you use the tool for about four minutes and i think you have got a good idea of how to use the tool at least for downloading that now the downloading only works for um up to yeah up to 3,000 characters other than that you'll need an s3 bucket so this is something I would say you don't have to be scared about making 
So I'm going to go ahead and go back to mine. And go to S3. And see, I've got some, uh, some of my buckets right here. But I'll probably blur those out. So we're just going to go ahead and make a, a test bucket. We'll just call it poly test gem. Because poly test is probably taking the bucket names are global to all of AWS. We'll block all public access and that should be suitable for that. So we've got that. I'm going to go back. So poly test gem, I'll just copy that. Now, if you need to make a file that's more than 3,000 characters, whoops. Now, narration, you would want to go back here. And so I was just going to snag something off a of wiki source. This is actually something I've been meaning to do anyway. I'd like to, wanted to make like an open source Iliad uh, audiobook that's, that's free. So we'll use the... Where's the, okay, yeah, here's the Butler translation, which is relatively popular, we'll go to book one. Of course, this will be a pain to copy a little bit, so I'll just copy this. Tell, yeah, I'm already there, almost. So that's book one of the Iliad. So that's 30,000 characters. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and synthesize that. To my bucket and I'll get that open. Right here. So when we see it come in, it'll be good. And I'm going to go ahead and synthesize this just so you can see how fast it is to do something like a little bit bigger. But you need to change the set task settings. And this is a key thing if you want to name these uh, something else or have them go to a particular bucket. I mean, you're going to have to have them go to a bucket if they're over 3,000 characters. So we'll just name this Iliad, do EN for English, Iliad, book one. I'll just put Butler for Butler translation. So if I was going to go through and do this whole project, I would just keep hopping back into this and changing the settings as I did it. So I'm going to go ahead and synthesize that. And just so you know, this does cost money. This is going to cost money right here. And we'll go ahead and calculate the cost for this in a second. I've got the poly pricing tab right here. Um, and I'm going to do it in British. Well, I didn't want it in standard, actually. I got to reset. I'll do it in British and we'll do it. We'll just leave it as Amy. And uh, yeah, so we got that changed. We'll go ahead and synthesize. So remember the number here, too. I don't know if it resets that for calculating the cost afterwards. 
So boom, scheduled, it schedules a task. It's got the task ID here. You know, all the details of the MP3 that it's gonna make. Um, I believe you can even it, you can change the file format uh, and do several different kinds of, uh, the different rates and different file formats here as well, just so you know. So we'll go ahead, refresh that. And that one might take just a second. So we'll go ahead and compute the pricing. So here's the standard pricing. Um, note that the neural cost is a little bit more than the, uh, well, it's, not, it's about four times the cost of just the standard. So I, I imagine the standard would be more like if you had like a helper type thing on your website that you just needed the voice for, or you needed some simple translations. Um, but if you were to try to make like an audio book, I would definitely go with the neural, which is why I brought this up. Cause a lot of people think that this isn't really a viable option for making audio books. Um, but the thing that's really crazy is just the, the speed of this. So for 1 million characters of neural, it'll cost $16. So we'll just do the quick math on here. So for about one dollar, you can get sixty-two thousand five hundred characters. So in the case of what I just did, it was about thirty thousand characters. It cost fifty cents to translate book book one of the Iliad, the Butler translation, to to generate the MP3. Uh, which is already here. So I can just click this, click download. It's about a 10 megabyte file. Sing, O oh goddess, the rage of Achilles, son of Peleus, that brought countless ills and upon that's the Achilles. Half hour of talking many a brave soul did it send hurrying down to Hades, and many a hero a did it yield a prey to dogs and vultures. For so were the counsels uh, of Jove fulfilled from the day on which um, the son of Atreus, king of men, and great Achilles. And I, I don't know. First, I, I, I just think it's a fantastic tool for the cost and what you're getting. So, one last thing on this. Let me make this here because I have some control tools over there on the other side. Um, if you haven't used AWS before, um, like I said, just Google, get my AWS, you, you'll, but you'll, you know, to sign up for the account, you'll get a uh, free tier for, I believe it lasts for a year. So with that, you get 5 million characters for free uh, with Amazon, with AWS Poly. So I mean, if there's something you're looking to do right now, if you've got a project right now, you can literally just hop on AWS if you've never used it before and get the 5 million characters for free. I mean, that might be your whole project. Uh, you know, I imagine that probably could do the Iliad for free. So um, not that it's that bad of a cost anyway compared to spending hundreds of dollars and then the, the time you have to wait to, to hire a narrator or a voice actor. Now there's... Certainly some things I wouldn't, you know, I could get like some audiobooks. You may not, you may want to have a voice actor. Um, and that's totally fine. I'm not trying to take business away from those people. Although this kind of will ultimately, but I hope you guys found this uh, to be a good tool though. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them, put them in the comments. Um, AWS has made this super easy to use. It's really, really impressive. Like I said, the cost, the speed. Uh, the, the quality of what you get, you know, there's, there's not a, a, the do over is paying the 50 cents again, if you copy and pasted the wrong thing in there. Right. Um, so that's about it about 14 and a half minutes. So thanks so much. You guys like, like this video. If it helped you, uh, please subscribe. It helps me out. Comments are always appreciated. Have a great day.